what's up everybody 915 mang here doing a video on the 40 gallon breeder reef ready tank just kidding it's a 180 this is a uh, frag pack that i set up i hit, sold a couple of frags but this one is the kind of frag packs that i'm talking about selling hit me up if you want one uh price is 350 shipped in the u.s only let's go ahead and take a look at the 180 um 350 i just want to tell you that was 20 frags so not bad at all let's just take a quick look at the tank um something that i really like to do is just kick back on the side full tank shot i love it i enjoy it but the side views the top views by far are my favorite this one is about 25 inches give or take um but my new tank that's right guys i am getting a new tank it's going to be 24 inches on the side, 24 inches on the top, up and down, and 60 inches um, from one from left to right. Um, so it's going to be pretty nice. The total volume just on the tank itself is 150. Um, so that's not too much of a uh, difference between a 150 and 180, but I did want a five footer tank so i'm happy with that so that's why i'm gonna do a long video today this one is gonna be topping off right about just under 20 minutes so if you have the time kick back relax get yourself some coffee and adult beverage and uh just kick back and watch this video i don't know if you're watching on your phone your laptop your tablet but they have this cool thing now where you can cast it onto your tv and uh i do shoot in HD I have a badass camera and uh, you know so I use it I've had a few people tell me that uh, this all my corals and rocks are not gonna fit in the new tank and they're probably right um, I know there's some pieces in here that I really don't care for um, like this big old uh, chalice right here I don't really care if it makes it into the new tank uh, I kind of don't want it because the reason why is because it's deadly um, if you haven't seen my video coral warfare this thing was throwing out stingers like um like crazy um, in the new tank of course I'm still gonna do zoanthids but uh, I want to do kind of some different something different I will not I'm telling you guys I will not add any of those gold pallies into my new tank because those damn things take over like crazy Another thing that I don't want to add to the new tank are these daisies. These daisies, they're really cool when they're one or two, three by themselves. But if they just grab a hold, they'll take over and spread all over the glass, all over your rock. And I'm going to give you another example later on. One coral that I would like to keep in my tank, of course, is the acans. I would like to keep this uh, leather and this frog spawn. This frog spawn has just done really good. Right now it's, it's in the morning. The lights haven't kicked on 100% yet. Um, and I don't run my lights up to 100. I run them up to 60%. And then I keep the T5s on. A Coral Plus and then a Blue Plus. Both of the bulbs, ATI. Doing really good. But this thing opens up really, really uh, big. And as you can see, it right now it's uh, closed so it's starting to get there but I want to make this one of the show pieces in my new tank and uh, I kind of just want to get things that grow really slow but have a lot of color um, I do like the rainbow chalices my Miami Vice chalice Miami Vice chalice is deadly to the other corals but it doesn't grow so fast so I'll just have to space it out so that it doesn't reach out and touch somebody. Now talking about the invasive corals. I just want to show you how much these daisy polyps have taken over my uh, scrambled egg zoas. Scrambled egg zoas are doing good. They're growing but they're fighting for space. Because they're being overcrowded by these stupid daisy polyps. By the way if any of you guys want some. I'll sell you some for free. Um, but take a look guys. You can see. These things are taking over. The soft coral. I kind of, you know, want to. I love the zoas. Zoas are easy to cut up, frag, and they're nice. 
these things just grow on top of whatever. It could be your rock. And they don't grow on top of any other kind of coral. I think these are worse than Xenia. At least with Xenia, they just grow into these big old stalks and then branch out. So you can just cut them all the way down to the base. But they'll still grow again. Uh, trust me, uh, I've done it. But uh, I do want to just keep like the chalices, certain pallies. Okay, I love zoas, I love pallies. But one pally that I highly recommend that you do not add are those gold pallies. Those damn things will take over your tank just like those daisy polyps. And I'll show you that here in a second. Um, I do like the slow growing stuff that has a lot of color. And right now, they don't have a lot of color because of the, I'm just using white LEDs with a, a little bit of blue. Um, once the tenics kick on later on at night, that's where you, when you really see the coral pop. But once again, daisies on top, cloves on the bottom. Cloves aren't as bad as daisies, but you do have to uh, watch them. This is one of those rocks where I don't really care if it makes it into the new tank. Anemone though. This anemone has been doing its own thing for quite a while. Walking around, stinging the crap out of my mystic monopora. Um which surprisingly is not all white, but it is getting stung. You can see right there. The uh, Everything else is doing okay. My pink's bird's nest, got to watch out for that because there's an, another anemone on the base of that. And I do, I did kill this coral right here. Uh, really sucks because I got this from Battle Corals when I won it from my buddy um, Nine Stick Nate. Uh... Nobody entered his contest, only two people. I was one, there was somebody else, and guess who won? Me. Uh, so, it sucks. This thing is almost dead. Um, but everything else seems to be doing okay. I don't know what happened. This tank itself has been a lot of fun. Um, moving it is probably going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt because it's so heavy. Uh, I am going to have help, of course. And... Um, but it's still, you just got to be careful. The plumbing is not going to be an issue because I attached everything to my bulkheads via soft tubing. And then from the soft tubing, it goes down to the hard tubing. So just have to unscrew some uh, hose washers, uh, hose clamps, and go from there. And I'll be, be okay. The pipes and everything will be reusable. I'm actually selling this tank for... 1500 and that includes the tank the stand the sump the 20 gallon auto top off tank um, and then I'm even throwing in frags frags of all my coral like the soft corals and um, any of the sticks that I can frag like the LPS um, the chalices and things like that nope but uh, all the other stuff I am so if you're in the area of El Paso and you want to stop by take a look at the tank and buy the tank uh just hit me up sorry for that shameless plug but hey i gotta do what i gotta do I actually do have somebody coming to look at it and uh they've seen it the tank in person um they're gonna look at it i guess inspect it whatever if it falls through though i will be selling it again um everything else guys looking pretty good i just wanted to get some close-ups of this cyano i do have it I'm not really too worried about it anymore because once I move over to the tanks, uh, it'll be getting a water change through there. And then I'll be using some of that Kimmy Pure. Also, my buddy Tim is has a little bit of that Vibrant left over. Uh, buddy T. Suro gave me a heads up about the Vibrant, told me that he's been using it. Kind of works on bubble algae. And other viewers, thanks, for, thanks to you guys, have told me within three doses... Uh, their Precani was clean. So, hey, I'm going to go ahead and try some of that. By then, all this stuff will be cleaned out. Now, I'll show you how I move my tanks later on because I don't actually don't have the new tank. And I don't want to tell you which tank I got yet. You just have to stay tuned. Hopefully, if you're just passing by, you'll subscribe so you can check out all those other videos. Um, I do post the videos weekly. I do try to hit them up weekly. Sometimes I can't, but most of the time I'm on target. Now also for the new tank, I would like to take this big rock. It has the uh, Digion here. 
orange digi and it's really nice but as you can see on the right of it these are the golden pellies that I should not never ever introduced into my tank these things will survive um, and they'll come back and grow like crazy as you can see multiple heads of that somebody wants a frag of this I'll set you up for failure and sell this to you for a dollar just kidding don't add them to your tank guys purple stylo this purple stylo started off as a tiny little frag tiny little frag that I got from cultivated reef for like 20 bucks and this thing is growing like crazy it's got lots of good color on the top on the base though it is getting shaded so it's like white but the rest of it is doing good the bird's nest right there I really don't want to do too much bird's nest but this one is really cool because it's tightly has some tight polyps um, the green slimer also start off as a little tiny frag got that from cultivated reef and it's doing really good it's about to touch the water um, and I think it I'm interested to see how it does in the new tank um, just because this one this tank is kind of tall so but it's really happy if I have to frag it I will I know um, I have a buddy who's interested in this and I've told him that I'll cut them up some you know and trade for some Zoas this other thing I forgot the name of it I actually got it from 67 Mustang or Mr. Bud Budman um, these right here these other digi right here bubblegum digi doesn't have a whole lot of blue in it it's mostly red um, late at night when the tenics are on you can kind of see the different colors but right now all I care about is still alive I haven't killed it and it has a good growth on on it on the new tank I would like to change it up and get some more Lobos uh, Lobos are cool man they're easy they have really nice colors they open up real nicely and uh, I would like to get a variety of those I don't know how to cut those or frag them uh, but I don't really plan on cutting them or fragging them and you can see it has some nice colors when the blues are on they look even nicer but uh, just I would like to just get some more of these guys for my tank um, and you can see why and I want to show you some more of these gold pallies that have just taken over and believe me guys don't don't do like me you know when you're starting off getting tanks your, your reefy tanks you're just gonna try to get whatever coral you want you know try to get as many corals as you can for cheap kind of be selective of what you want and that's kind of what I want to do in the new tank I want to get you know different torches lobos different sticks zoas of course I'm gonna keep doing my zoa thing and uh, just corals like that different SPS acros um, I want to do things like that and so just kind of be careful when you set up your your tank don't just try to get all the coral and be a coral hoarder like me so what tank do you think I got guys I'll tell you there's a couple of sales well one sale that I know of on the 525 Red Sea Reefer XL they're taking off $300 on that tank so that tank comes out to $2,300 even I don't know about tax or whatever but it's like $2,300 I've been looking at a different brand SC aquariums uh, I've been looking at their 150 and I've also been looking at the water box which is a new company starting off they're kind of of a knockoff of Red Sea reefers price wise they're not too far off from the Red Sea reefer so what tank do you think I uh, would would pick up a B or C drop it in the comments below and let me know Fish wise, fish wise, I am planning on keeping all of my fish um, and moving them into the new tank. I'm not planning on getting rid of any of them. Uh, I am not going to make like a brick wall, rock wall aquarium. I do like the open space of my tank and I think I can accomplish it even from moving from a 180 down to a smaller tank. I think I could still accomplish that. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do is probably use that bright well aquatics or um, those bricks that they sell or I'm gonna get some uh, 
what's that stuff called? The Seacam uh, Matrix. And that way I don't, it could still have lots of surface area, but just not hog up so much space in the main display. I think that's important to, so that way, you know, their fish have a lot of room and I can still have a lot of places to hide coral and go from there. We'll see how it comes out in the end. So I am pretty excited about getting a new tank, starting a new build. It's a lot of fun. Breaking down tanks kind of sucks, but setting them up is a lot of fun. Different aquascape. Um, actually, I'm probably going to still do the two island look. One island on the left, one island right. Center, open center. We'll see. Um, and uh, we'll see. I like this look, and I think it looks nice. I'm just going to do different coral selection and uh, more of a frag tank. My uh, One of my buddies, he was like, yeah, man, don't be doing a frag tank in your main display. And he's right. So I am going to probably do 220s as frag tanks or 240s as a frag tank and then combine the frag tank with the uh, 12 gallon long from the Aquamax tank that I got so that way it's not actually 12 gallons it's, it'll actually be like a, a 50 gallon tank set up with the two tanks but first I gotta concentrate on the big tank and then I'll concentrate on the little tanks the little frag tanks so shout out to you guys if you guys actually watched the whole video listen to me talk and ramble on about my new build 16 minutes into it shout out to you guys hopefully i could pu push out another video i still owe you a video on how i get away with a lot of stuff and since it's the majority of you men watching this but it will actually benefit you women too um so stay tuned for that video We'll do a video on what I do and how to sweet talk your significant others to let you buy corals, to let you buy a new fish tank, to let you do a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing. So once again, thank you so much for letting me talk fish to you, fish and coral. Um, I can talk fish and coral to anybody all day, every day. So thanks again. Hit that like and subscribe. You guys take care. And I will see you in the next one.